Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So I'm trying to uh, put out to those who want the information as much as I can get out today because I have a little time. And um, we're doing the Who Pinball Wizard, and we've got the numbers, the letters to go. We got the numerological numbers to go all through the categories for both. And we got our bio or our binary code biological. Well, that's what we've been getting, but we got our binary code to go through all the categories. And, uh, now we've gotten regular binary code and we've taken it through, uh, finance. We've taken it through genetics and now we were taking it through medical, the medical, uh, category. And I once again, broke these down to individual letters for this. Um, Mostly because putting two together was not yielding as uh, good of results as putting one. Because there's we're getting uh, more information and we're getting more and less. Or less is more in this case. Um, so uh, I just decided to do that to get um, more information. Um, so you, you, you've taken... Uh, you... you and, for those of you who are following along, know this by heart. I know you do. Uh, by now, I almost do. Um, I do. Uh, playing changed to plays, and he fell off twice. So you take uh, cross off P L A Y because they're alike. You're left with I N G and S, and we brought I N G S down, and he simply fell off twice. So we brought he down twice. All right. So now uh, this became an interesting thing. Um, we're running we're just running the letters now i mean i was running i ran two letters to, at once but it didn't yield as much result as one so once again i'm going i'm going to take it where i can get more information at this point so i by itself is 01101001 and you end up with computer networks and intelligent computing that's in the medical <laughs> all right so there's there you go again intelligent computing that that hit genetic the genetic algorithms the genetic computing now you've got intelligent computing computer networks and intelligent computing um, you've also got evolution of marijuana medicalization and keep that in mind because it, it's a recurring theme here so uh, and then you got uh, you got more guys those are what I wrote down. Uh, National Health, ISAC Aviation, ISAC, uh, the Medical Device Track, it's American Journal of Medical Sciences, and there's my number. Uh, so you got a few things going on here, Purdue Science, Healthcare Research. Uh, so yeah, you got a few things going on with that. And then, um, so if you move on to N by itself, you got 01101110, and you end up with evolution of marijuana medicalization again. Again. Um, and I think I moved on to page two. Uh, that was one of the first things we got. Yeah, you've also got that National Health ISAC and Aviation ISAC. Again, um, a robot from the future reviews Tomorrowland, but that, that's come up over and over. But I really, um, I'm sure maybe that is something, but I never really looked at it. Um, robot from the future, but no. Uh, Premier Medical Center. So you got a few things. That's on page two. Now if you go back to page one, that's where you got your marijuana medicalization. Uh, seeing if anything else is there of note on page one. No, so not a whole lot going on there. Um, and then if you move on, um, then you got G, which ends up being zero one one zero zero one one one. And guys, I'm getting this off the binary alphabet. I'll provide the link. I'm just copy and pasting them. Um, what I'm doing too, I'm copy and pasting two, uh, first one, then the other. Uh, but here we're just doing one because we seem to be getting more information this way. And uh, 
This one, once again, on G, you end up with evolution of marijuana medicalization again. Uh, and you end up with medical imaging physics. And uh, I found that to be interesting. That's actually on page two, I think it is. Um, Edinburgh Medical Journal. So you got a few things going on with that. Um, advances in multimedia information processing. How about that? Biodata. Uh, oh, uh, back propagation neural network. Oh, neural network. The architecture of back propagation neural network. Neural network. Ah, yes. Um, so you got that. You got a few things going on there. And of course, you know, neurosciences, you know, you're probably are looking at the uh, uh, medical marijuana. Why not? Um, so that actually makes sense. So then if you move on to S, which is 01110011, you get uh, public health reports uh, and interfacing the IBM PC to medical equipment. I found that to be interesting. Um, you also get, that's Reddit, so I'm not really... Uh, official register of legally qualified physicians. How about that? That's all on page one. Um, you, uh, I'm just moving to page two. Like uh, Polk's Medical Register and Directory of the United States and Canada. Medical Times and Gazette, a journal of medical science. And the numbers in all these guys. Um, you do have to watch for it occasionally not to be there, I'm sure still. <clears throat> so you got a few things going on with that. And I will move on to H, which is 01101000, and that is the Boston Medical and Surgical Journal. It ends up. And uh, annual report of the Secretary of the Navy. And so you got those two things going, the New England Journal of Medicine. About that, you got that Purdue Science again, Purdue University, uh, United States Congressional Serial Set, uh, Medicines and Medical Attendance. It says there, so you got a few things going on. Uh, I said Boston Medical and Surgical Journal already, and that's all on page two there. I'll provide the links. You can look at them yourselves, and then you're left with E, which is. 01100101, and that ends up being evolution of marijuana medicalization again. So that's come up quite a bit. And then you get computational intelligence in medical imaging. Computational intelligence in medical imaging. So there's some more of that uh, artificial intelligence, computational intelligence, machine learning, uh, genetic algorithms. Guys, it's all there. And that literally gets you through all of the letters in regular binary code. Um, and I and I did. I, I again, I took one letter at a time because I was getting more information that way. Um, and uh, I'm figuring um, those who are following along to this point are looking for the most information they can get, as I am. So when it's um, when the pattern seems to be a single letter is getting me more information. That's what I'm going to go with. If the pattern seems to be two letters are getting me more information, that's what I'm going to go with. Or three letters by, by the binary. By the time we get to regular binary, I'm going to go with where the information is. And uh, I tried several combinations, and the most information came out of the single letters in this case. Now, since we started doing regular binary, that hasn't always been the case, right? But it is in this case, and it wasn't even the case in the in the finance search of this one. We got plenty of information out of the two letter sequences. It's just that in after uh, as soon as we hit genetics and medical, now one letter is doing better. Uh, we'll see how chemical goes. Um, again, we will go. I'll go where the information is. So we'll see how that works. Um, and so that gets you through medical. Um, we'll, we'll do chemical. We'll do technology and we'll do random hits. We're down to three. And then we'll start trying to decode the Bible changes. And we'll also try to get our uh, electromagnetic hypersensitivity video out sometime this weekend. We will try.
my fiance is uh, busy, and she's going to be a big part of that um, uh, presentation. So um, uh, when she gets time and she feels up to it, then we will do that. Um, we were hoping to do it way before now, but it just didn't work out. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, that's medical. So thanks for all your thumbs up, thumbs down. Thanks for all your comments, leads, feedback, and subscriptions. And uh, next will be chemical. We'll see what we can get out of that from the binary, regular binary code. Um so thanks a lot for watching for now, guys. And I hope uh, those who are following along, I hope you're getting something out of this. I hope it's it, these searches are helping connect some dots. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you know that's the the, the these are the re the reasons that we go through these steps and go through all the steps is pretty obvious when somebody like yesterday asks, um, "Can I see the search parameters?" Uh, can I see the key words that you use to get this uh, thing, this person or this university? And uh, since I went through all the steps, since we went through it all, all we have to do is go look back and provide it. And uh, it's a little harder to punch holes in stuff. I, I mean, if someone's going to punch a hole in it, uh, then in the, you know, the theory um, that we're doing or the process that we're doing, we were hoping it would be done by now. Um, the sooner the better. So I, you know, we appreciate when people ask those questions and want to see what's going on and see what we're doing. Um, we can provide the, the evidence, the proof in some cases, we, we can provide proof of the search. We can provide proof of the pattern. Uh, we can provide evidence for our theory that some of these are quantum computers. We can't prove it. Um, like I, I said in a previous video, even if you, even if we were able to prove it, there would still be an argument, uh, even if we caught somebody red-handed using the quantum network or your quantum computer, um, somebody could argue that's not how it works. And there, even though you caught them, um, they could still, it could still be argued that, you know, they have nothing to do with it. So, uh, Catching somebody red-handed would be the best evidence you could find and get, but it would still just be evidence because somebody else could say that that, that just because you caught them, you know, using the quantum network or a quantum computer, that doesn't mean that, you know, you're, that they changed this with that you know, something got coded with that particular computer. It could always be argued. Um, but we can provide really good evidence and, a pretty uh solid process so um that's good I mean, if anyone's got questions just ask and we'll try to help we'll try to answer any questions that we possibly can and uh that's it uh anyway guys sorry about that but uh thanks a lot for watching guys i just want to throw that in there and for now you guys have a great rest of your day